Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Mini Kit Monday with Becky, Daisy, Kathy, Shannon, Tracy, and myself. I'm documenting this photograph of the Blue Ridge Parkway from fall of 2018. I am using two sheets of paper from Simple Story Autumn Splendor Collection one paper from India Cheek, which I think is a 2012 paper. Then I also am using a My Mind's Eye paper. That honeycomb in the opposite side is of a world map. Now my base paper will be from Simple Stories, that mustard color with a Swiss dot pattern on top of it it's like a tone on tone and that is my base foundation paper now i go and cut my squares i cut six squares three and a half inches by three and a half inches i should have cut them three inches by three fourths so or three and three fourths because when I go lay out my six squares on the lower half of my foundation paper, I have too much of a gap. So I take that Simple Stories mustard color paper that you see in front of you and I cut a half inch on two sides to correct that error. And then I also distress the edge, ink it up using the distress Tim Holtz Distressed Ink and Ground Espresso. Then I back that, I go back to my kit, my November kit, and I pull out the paper that is from Cardabella and it has um, a leaf pattern. And I got the middle of it and you don't see that part. That's why I'm telling you. You do see me distress my paper a little bit and ink the edge with the distressed ink in ground espresso and i also ink each of my squares um you in the color ground espresso all right now that i'm ahead of myself please don't forget to follow the other ladies um channels their links will be listed below plus go check us out over at the facebook group site called mini kit monday facebook or Mini Kit Monday Facebook Challenge Group. Yes, if you'd like to participate and possibly win a curated um, kit or a gift card, what you need to do is snap a photograph of your kit, then snap a photograph of each of the layouts you created. You get four entries, one for your kit and one for three layouts. If you create more than three layouts, those are just bonus layouts, but you don't get extra entries for the giveaway. Um, if you don't want to participate, that's fine, but just want to join us and get inspired and see what everyone else is creating, come ask to join us, that's fine too. And, and, some, and maybe it'll encourage you to put your own kit together. All right, so back to my layout. All right, see where that honeycomb pattern is? I remove that, I don't even use it. But I do use that honeycomb pattern to mat my photograph. That's the kind of beige color you first see, and then I mat it against the wood grain color. I also have a pocket there, which is housing two photographs of the Blue Ridge Parkway, one taken um, during the beginning of winter, and then the next one was the beginning of spring. So that's in there. My focus for this layout is this beautiful snapshot of that um, overpass or bridge during autumn. I'm bringing in this white dolly to layer up. I will also be using the Simple Stories chipboard with this, for this collection. Autumn Splendor, and I'm going to layer up chipboard over in the lower right hand corner. I put down that banner that says Fall Blessings. I'm going to bring in this pumpkin, and then I'm going to, underneath the pumpkin, I'm going to layer the, this um, tree, 
And then you're going to eventually see me bring over the fox from that um, chipboard set. But right now I jumped into creating my title. I'm using these craft alpha words and they came out a while back, um, Amy Tan collection. And it also came in a couple different colors. And these ones are um, like a chipboard, but she also did one that's like in an epoxy. And I really love these because they're tall and thin and they're great for large titles or just filling in a small space. Now I'm getting out these October, is it called October afternoon? October, yeah, whatever they were called um, back then. Um, Anyway, and spell out the word Parkway. And then from my kit, I had a little bit of um, Pink Paisley Autumn um, Arban, Arban Lane collection. And that's where that says joy, I mean, enjoy the little things that I put next to the Blue Ridge Parkway title. All right, now one of our challenges for this month was to use ribbon. And so I got out my scrapbook.com double-sided tape, and I'm going to hear this ribbon along there doing, um, gosh, what do you call that? Like a, uh, it's a stack. Oh, I can't even think. I've, I'm lost for words. It'll come to me. Anyway, I use that and glue dots to do a ruffle that's what i was looking for a ruffle there at the top i'm going to show you me creating two of those ruffles and then i'm going to edit the rest out and you're going to see it come back completed right here this will be the last i do three ruffles take that back i will add a piece of washi tape because i felt like it needed um, something to sit on there and you can see I have some embellishments right there, and they are of butterflies, vellum. And then I will be getting out my Nuba drops. And generally, I just use three, maybe max, Nuba drops or enamel dots. And this time, I went to town. I decided to play. And why not? Why not do something a little different? and work outside our comfort zone. And you either decide, ah, I like it, I don't like it. And I'm on the fence about it. You see, I added a little squirrel. I think maybe if my squirrel was the same color as that fox, I would feel a little bit different, or maybe I shouldn't have used that word, enjoy the little things. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I still like the layout. It'll still go in my album. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you all. Get out your photographs. Document your memories in a fun, creative way. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the bell button. Show us some love. And we'll see you next time. Bye.